adik-adik mahasiswa Fit Pundiksa berjumpa kembali bersama Fit Mengajar pada hari ini. Siaran kali ini menghadirkan siaran Teaching Small Group and Individual. Siaran ini sangat bermanfaat loh untuk kelas internasional Fit Pundiksa. Ayo kita saksikan bersama-sama. Teaching small group and individual occurs in classical teaching context. A teacher may face many groups of students and many students in which each of them are given a chance to study, either in group or individually. Thus, the students have a chance to learn based on their ability, interest, style, and rate. In teaching small group and individual, the interaction patterns between the teacher and the student is formed from one-way interaction to multi-ways interaction. These interaction patterns enable the process of learning between the teacher and the students and among the students themselves. These interaction patterns allow good relationship between the teacher and the students. Since the students are allowed to learn at their own rate of learning, it means that a student should be given help based on their needs. Thus, the teacher must respond quickly to the difficulty faced by the students in order to give appropriate help on time. The roles of teacher in teaching are to organize the teaching and learning process, to be the source of information for the students, to encourage the students to learn, to provide learning materials and chances for the students, to diagnose and help the students' needs, and to be the participants who has the same right and responsibility as others. Teaching small group and individual requires the skill that relate to the skill in handling the tasks and the students. Mastering the skill of teaching small group and individual enables the teacher to manage the activity effectively and efficiently. There are four group of skill that must be mastered by teacher in teaching small group and individual. Those are First, the skill of doing personal approach. The skill consists of some components, those are Sowing warm and enthusiasm toward the student's needs, both the small group and individual, so that the student feels safe and protected. Listening sympathetically toward students' ideas, so that the students can feel that their ideas are meaningful. Giving positive response. Positive response is given to the student's idea, even though the idea may not be agreed, but the teacher must be able to respond to the idea well in order to encourage the students to find the mistakes themselves. Developing trustful relationship. Trustful relationship must be based on the trust shown by the teacher to the students and by the students to the teacher. Trust can be shown through verbal, facial expression, and gesture. So in readiness to help. Readiness to help can be shown through many ways such as approaching the students who look confused when they do the task and answering the students question friendly. Showing willingness to accept the student's feeling and controlling the situation and finding alternative to solve problems. Yes, of course you can. 
There are very smart and strong. Yes. So why do you think that horse is timid and weak? Huh? I want to think about television. There is cartoon about the horse. The cartoon program. So Dila may true. But what about you, Perry? How do you think that a uh, horse is friendly, strong, and smart? Any day. On my biology book. So I know it. So you read it from your biology book. So Perry may also be true. But what do you think, students? Which one is has more accurate information? Cartoon program or biology book? I think the biology book is more accurate. Yes, I think so, Nera. Biology book has more accurate information about horse because in cartoon program the character of horse sometimes made up by the writer, okay? So sometimes it's not based on fact, but that doesn't mean that he lies wrong, right? Because he know it from a source. So what do you think now, Dila? Which one has more accurate information, a cartoon program or a biology? Book? I think the biology. Yes, biology. So can you do it now, students? Yes! Yes, I think so. I know that you can do it. So please continue. Group 4, is everything alright? No, no means. means. Do you have any problem? It is only a knee and anything text. How about others? Why don't you help your friends? You don't know which part you should do. So, what animal do you get? Rabbit. Rabbit? Okay, now look at the worksheet. Okay. Here. There is a thing that you should describe in your text. You have, this, you have to discuss it with your friends and then you can define it together. For example, Satyani may describe about the physical appearance of rabbit and Rastini may discuss about the food and you, Randy, you may be describe about the benefit of rabbit. Okay, so you still have about 10 minutes to finish your work. So let's continue your work. Okay? Second is the skill of organizing the learning process. The skill consists of some components, those are giving general orientation. General orientation is given before the small group and individual students do the task being assigned. General orientation is about the objectives, the task, and the way to do the task. Varying the activity. Varying the activity is done to prevent the students from being bored during the learning process. Each kind of activity must be equipped with source or facilities needed and instruction to do the task. Forming appropriate group, in which appropriate group can be formed based on the seating arrangement or based on the student interest and ability. Coordinating the activity, sharing attention. Attention is given to the variety of tasks and students' needs. And ending the activity with culmination. Culmination can be in the form of report, summary, conclusion, and so on. Okay, students, you have just read the descriptive text and also answered the questions given, right? From that activity, I hope you understand about the language features and also the name structures of descriptive text. So, before I ask you to do a task, do you still have any questions, students? No! Right, students. Now I want you to work in group, okay? You will be divided into five groups, in which each group consists of five students. Now I will read the name of students who belong to the first group, okay? For the first group, I want Chitra, yes, Ali, okay, Vidya, yes, Dina, Vita, and Hendra, okay? Next, group two, there will be Dita. Padma, Andika, Meli, Mila, and Nipa. For group 3, there will be Dila, yes, Nare, Hendi, Ferry, and Eviat. Yunita, Randi, Rastini, Setiani, and Sanita, you are the fourth group. Okay? For the last group, group 5, there will be Rukno, Nana, Ulan, Sudiata, and Yogi. Now everybody please find your group and remember to choose your group leader, okay?
Okay, students, you may go back to class. Students, what you have to do now is open the envelope. Okay? There is a picture of bat in it, but the picture has been cut into some part. So. The third is skill of guiding and facilitating the learning. 
The skill consists of some components, those are giving appropriate reinforcement. Reinforcement is given during the process of teaching and learning in order to motivate the students to learn as well as to modify the students' behavior. Giving initial supervision. Initial supervision is given at the beginning of group work or individual learning. Initial supervision is given to check the student's understanding on the task being assigned. Teachers should go around to each group or individual students to ensure that all of the students can work based on the procedure. Giving further supervision. Further supervision is given a while after the students start working in group or individually. Further supervision is done to give help to the students during the time they do their tasks. The help which are given by the teacher can be in the form of interaction, tutoring, leading discussion, and as catalyst. And giving guidance supervision. This supervision is given to prepare the students to get ready for the end of the activity. To do this, the teacher may come to each group or individual students and ask their progress and warn about the time to finish their tasks. But that doesn't mean that we lie wrong, right? Because you know it from a source. 